Chi Bambini, welcome to session six. This is one of my favorites, which is a more calming Qigong. I am in the universe, the universe is in me. Breathing exercises for calming, for getting the energy moving around the body. So help me to set up the microphone. Let's find a nice position for it. And a lot of Qigong is movement. It's a martial art. People can use it for um, fighting, for um, moving the energy around the body. But even in stillness, when we're still, the energy can move around the body and flow. So it's important to have stillness as part of the practice. I think this branch looks quite good. So it's a sunny day and quite a lot of noise around because people are in their gardens. But one of the good things about Qigong is you have to adapt it to any situation. So if you're practicing at home, you can imagine you're outdoors a bit like me and to shake off any heaviness off the body. If there are noises around, we just don't get disturbed by them. So in China, often, the Qigong masters, when they practice, they go to the marketplace, the busiest place around, to check how calm they can remain amidst the chaos. So same here, we're training ourselves to remain calm amidst what's going on in the world. If there's a storm happening, imagine you're in the center of the storm. The center of the storm is always very still and quiet. Around it, things are moving. So quite important for us in Qigong also to get the energy to the center, settle it down. We're gonna do that today. Firstly, shake everything off. Shake off from the hands, the fingers. If we work on computers, homework, always clear this stuck energy which can be here. Shake the shoulders, shake the hips. Breathe in deeply through the nose. Breathe out from the mouth. Breathe in deeply, shake the head. Breathe out, shake the hands. You're clearing the stuffy air from the body. Shake the legs. Anywhere that feels heavy, just drop it down to earth. The earth always wants to take all the heaviness off the body. Remember, let's do a bit of slapping, just to strengthen the body. This is always good to remind ourselves. And any part that becomes lazy, like the shoulders, the arms, which we use a lot, good to slap it, strengthen it, lower back. We tend to sit a lot. Let's slap it. Hips, let's slap them. Bend down, keep the head up so the legs are stronger. Shoulders, lower back, hips. Once more. Shake off. Cleaning off, cleaning. Cleaning is, again, any tension that's here, anywhere you feel it's a bit heavy, from the back of the shoulders to the hands, back of the hands, off the back of the hands. Head, front to the back, front to the back, front to the back. Then go through the whole body. Back of the head, front, lower back, hips, down to the feet, shake off. Collecting the dust off the surface. smile on the face always take it easy we do this as a fun exercise never good to be too serious we want the mind to rest to switch off a bit okay once more shake off okay now just do something for the arms up the inside down the outside this is a really good one because it smooths all the channels through the arms and most of the channels, or the Chinese call them meridians, go through the shoulders, through the arms. So we're smoothing these channels like this. Go up the inside, down the outside. Once more. Then just go down the outside, shoulder to the hand, shoulder to the hand. You're cleaning off, cleaning off 
three times each side, three times, three times. Then separate the hands. So let's get to the breathing and then we'll settle everything down to the center. So with the breathing, hands face each other. Imagine you have a ball between the hands. You can't squash the ball, go round it a little bit, just to sense this ball is really here between the hands. Just relax with it, sense that you can't squash it. And when you breathe in, allow the ball to grow between the hands. Breathing in through the nose, breathing out, can't squash it, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. As you do, soften up the wrists, soften up the fingers, soften up the arms. Just open, close. Can't collapse, open. Breathing in, open. Breathing out, collapse. Breathing in. Then gently close the eyes. The reason we close the eyes is you notice more in the body. Notice the feet into the earth strongly. Notice the hands closing in on the ball. You open, breathe in through the nose. Fully, breathe out. Breathe in, open. Breathe out, close. Breathe in through the nose. Open, breathe out, close and just continue at your own pace for a while, breathing in and out. And I'll remind you to come back, but you just continue. You'll notice different things in the body. The feet can feel quite big into the ground, into the earth. The head wants to go up towards the heavens. The ball expands easily and softly. Smile on the face, take it easy. Don't worry, the birds are singing, birds are happy. The loud music we can ignore from the neighbors. I think the birds are competing with the music. So nature, I don't know if you've noticed, has got a lot louder since we've all been home. Nature's a lot happier. In Qigong, we're actually connecting to nature, so I'm glad the birds are really cranking up their volume now. Breathing in through the nose, out from the mouth. Breathing in is all the fresh air from around you. Breathing out, all the stuffy air. Breathe in fresh air, breathe out like smoke or stuffy air. Sometimes when we're tired, we're ill, we just breathe out anything that's not needed in the body. After a while, feel, have this idea that you're being breathed by the universe. In the beginning, we're moving with the breath. What if the breath, the universe, is moving you? Just notice the difference. If you let go, be breathed by the universe. That's what we mean by the universe is in us, actually. It is. We're connected to everything around us, to nature, to other people. We're part of the whole. And the whole universe is part of us. Just for a while sense this idea that you are being breathed. Three more times, breathing in and out. Then come back can open the eyes. Still we can't squash the ball. So let's move around it a little bit. 
sense the ball becoming smaller between the hands. Hold the ball towards the lower abdomen area, just below the belly button. Feel the ball attracted there, the two hands towards the body, right hand on the inside, left hand on top. Close the fingers, just rest them there. Sense the breathing below the belly button. Sense the movement of the breath below the belly button. So from the universe breathing us, us breathing the universe, to going more internally. When you concentrate the breath here, the energy also concentrates where the hands are. Calming, settling everything, mind emptier, breathing through the whole body. Concentrate everything deep to the center. Press the hands down gently. Gradually come off this area. The Dantian, we call this our main energy center. So if you ever feel a bit emotional, upset, anything like that, you can put your hands here, breathe here. When we get upset, we tend to breathe quite high up here. As children, we naturally breathe down here. So bring the breath down. Breathe in deeply here. It will settle all your emotions, calm the internal organs, benefit the whole body. Press down gently. So interesting, we've had quite a noisy time around us and hopefully you noticed that you could stay calm amidst the music, amidst the birds singing, amidst a lot of the commotion. This is all a good part of the practice. So, Thank you for joining me in this session and one more session to go moving with the ball will be session seven thank you